Now we are going to study the characteristics of Thallophyta. So the organisms which come under the group Thallophyta, they are basically grown in the water, either in fresh water or marine water. As you can see the green patch over here, they are nothing but algae. Now the color is green because of a pigment called as chlorophyll, which is present inside the spiral chloroplast. Now because of this chlorophyll, they can perform autotrophic mode of nutrition. That means they can synthesize their own organic food. But do you observe this image over here? Do you see any, any type of well-defined nucleus? Do you see well-defined cells? Do you see well-defined leaf or stem or roots? They do not possess well-defined stem. They do not possess well-defined leaf, neither the roots. Now, when I say algae, algae are of different diversity. They have greater diversity. They can be unicellular or they can be multicellular. They can be microscopic. Also, they can be large. Now, different examples are also there of this Salophyta. We have seen Spirogyra, which can be grown in fresh water as well as in saline water. And they perform a process called as photosynthesis. Now, there are different types of fungi, but fungi does not possess a pigment called as chlorophyll, but they still come under Thallophyta. Now, let us study how to write this point. The first point says that Thallophyta plants grows mainly in water. Second point says that the group of plant which do not have specific parts like root, stem, leaf, flower, but are autotrophic due to the presence of chlorophyll that is inside the chloroplast and are called as algae. Now, algae shows greater diversity. That means there are different types. They can be unicellular or they can be multicellular or microscopic or they can be larger in size. That means you can see with your naked eyes. The next point says that if you see here, they can be either in the fresh water, they can be found either in the saline water. Now, various type of fungi like yeast and mold, which do not possess chlorophyll, but still they are included in the group of Thallophyta. Now let us see the example of Thallophyta. The first example is Pyrogyra. Second example is Eulothrix. Third example is Alva. Now how do you spell Spirogyra? The spelling of Spirogyra is Pyrogyra and Eulothrix is Eulothrix. 